Tema ka na yan, di sa Aurelio Isip, and welcome to Isip na yan. No? So, ang topic na ating pag-aaral ngayon ay proving the congruent triangles. No? So, start. Let's start. So, improving the congruent triangles. No? So, kailangan natin itong meron tayong two, kaya tawag na two-column group. No, sa two column na to, no, so, dito sa ating kaliwa, dito nakalagay ang ating statements and sa kanan naman ito yung ating reason. So, sabi dito, no, the two column group consists of list of statements and the reasons why those statements are true. So, ilalagay natin dito yung ating statement at sasabihin natin ano yung reason, bakit valid, no, yung mga statement na to. So, tara, punta tayo sa example number one Tingnan natin tong two triangles na to, no? So ang given dito, no? Madali mo na, no? Ang given dito is the side AC is congruent to the side XC and the side angle angle C is congruent to angle Z and then a side BC is congruent to the side YZ. So ibig sabihin, no? So ilalagay natin dito yung ating mga statement. So first is the ang the side AC sabi dito given no congruent to XZ no dito yung ating mga statement ano yung ating reason diyan ito ay given no given yan and then next angle C is also congruent to angle Z no yan din ay given. Ano pa yung given? The side, sorry na no, side to, the side BC is congruent to side YC. So, given lang din yan, no? So, po, puro given lang. So, the next, no, kung may kita natin, no, kailangan, alam nyo yung ating mga congruence postulate. Ayun yung ASA, SAS, SSS, or SAA, or AAS. So, kailangan alam nyo yun, no? So, kung may kita natin dito sa triangles natin, no? So, ito yung binigay. Side, angle, side. Parehas sila ng, in, ng side na to, no? Yung AC tsaka XC. Yung angles na C tsaka Z. Then, yung side pa rin na BC, then YZ. So, ibig sabihin, no, therefore, alagin natin dito, therefore, no, therefore, ito yung sign natin, ang symbol natin, therefore, therefore, the triangle A, B, C is congruent. No? Congruent to triangle. Yan yung pinaprove natin, no? X, sorry, triangle X, Y, Z by, no, Alin doon sa ating congruence postulate? By side, angle, side, congruence, postulate. Let's go to this triangle, no? So, triangle P, P ang given dito, no? Ang given is, given is O is the midpoint. So, tingnan lang, mag-refer tayo sa triangle na ito, no? So, O is the midpoint of PS. So, yung O daw, midpoint siya ng PS. And then, PQ, PQ, no, ito, PQ is congruent to SQ. Pareha sila. PQ, congruent sa SQ. And O is the midpoint. No? Mamaya, hindi depend ko what is midpoint of PS. And then, we're going to prove, now we we're going to prove the triangle Q PO so QPO is congruent to triangle QSO so yun yung gagawin natin so reasons again na no? statements and reason so una muna no sulat muna natin mga given so alam natin na ang PQ given no nakalagay so statements natin so PQ dito na lagay natin dito no PQ side PQ is congruent to the side SQ. Ang reason natin dyan is given. 
<coughs> Dini que viene, ¿no? Entendan, no pa. A O. A la grita, ¿no? O is the midpoint. It's the midpoint of side P S y I given then, ¿no? So, ngayon, ¿no? So, ngayon, kung mapapansin natin, ¿no? PQ, SQ, gitna, ¿no? Si, uh, o, is a midpoint of PS. So, ang definition natin ng midpoint, ¿no? What is midpoint ba? So, ang nakalagay dito, ang midpoint natin is the middle point, is the middle point of a line segment. It is equidistant from both endpoints and divides the segment. So, ibig sabihin, itong, kung itong midpoint natin ng O, so, ibig sabihin, equidistant sila. Parehas ang sukat, no, ng P, O, tsaka S, O. So, ibig sabihin, no, the P, O, ayan, P, O, is congruent to S, O. Anong reason natin doon? Kasi, yun yung definition definition of midpoint. No? Yun. Yung definition midpoint. Makukuha natin yan. So, P, O, no? And S, O ay parehas. Ang given naman, P, Q, tsaka S, Q. Ngayon, no? Alam din natin yung OQ is OQ is also congruent to OQ. No? Reflexive sila. Pag sinabi naman nating reflexive property of congruence. Nakalagay ito. Means a quantity of congruent to itself. No? Kapag sa ma-reflexive, kapag namitingin nga tayo sa salamin, no? Kunyari, itong marker na to pag tinutong natin sa lamin, siya pa rin. No, ikaw, sarili mo, pag tumingin sa lamin, ikaw pa rin. Yun yung reflexive property. So, ibig sabihin, yung OQ is congruent to OQ by R P C and R P C reflexive property of congruent. So, ngayon, no, meron na tayong P O no, S O pareha sila PQ, tsaka SQ, given, no? PQ, SQ, given, PO, SO, given din. O is a midpoint. And then, OQ is equivalent sa OQ. So, ibig sabihin, no? Therefore, the triangle, yung triangle natin dito, Q, no? Yung pipinoprobe natin. The triangle, Q, P, O, is congruent no to triangle q s o by ano s s s congruence postulate kasi no side 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 pare pare yan side 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 so pare pare sila ng side so ibig sabihin itong two triangles na to are congruent by S, S, S. Third example tayo, no? So, given the angle E is congruent to angle M and L is the midpoint of EM. So, we're going to prove na the triangle F, E, L is congruent to triangle A, M, L. So, from this figure, may kita natin dito. So, sulat mo natin given, no? Ulit, no? Statements and results. So, first, mag-given muna. So, angle E congruent sa angle M. This is given, no? And then, L, no? Point L. So, sabi dito, angle E, angle M. Pareha sila, ha? Angle yun, no? So, L is the midpoint of, no, of EM. Nakalagay, no? 
EM siya sa ang midpoint ng EM. Again, no? Given yan. Ayun, dahil alam na natin nakaraan. Yan na yung example number 2 natin, no? So, ngayon, dahil ang L is the midpoint of EM, ibig sabihin, no? Ang EL, so, EL, side EL is congruent to side ML, no? Parang mobile legend, no? ML. So, by, no? Definition, definition of midpoint. Next, no? Angle, may side na tayo. Angle, may side na tayo. Ngayon, may kita natin, itong midpoint na to, no? The uh, angle F L E So angle F L E F L E is congruent no congruent yan sa angle A no A L M Bakit no meron tayong tinatawag na what no pag sinabing what yan ay vertical angle. No? Kapag sinabing vertical angle, ang ating definition yan. No? So, vertical angle theorem states that the vertical angles or angles that are opposite, no? opposite to each other, opposite to each other, and form by two intersecting straight lines are congruent. So, may straight line ka dito, may straight line ka dito, nag-intersect sila. So, ibig sabihin, yung angle nun, mga angles nila are congruent. Ayun yung ating but vertical angles theorem. So ibig sabihin kailangan marami kayong alam ng definition nga, no? At marami kayong alam na theorem para suabi lang o smooth lang ang ating pag uh, puprove, no, ng ganitong mga congruence, no? So yun na. So FLE and ALM ay congruent sila by but. So ngayon no angle angle first given no side side second no ito yon and then angle angle f l e a l m so ibig sabihin angle side angle so ibig sabihin therefore no the triangle f e l f e l is congruent to triangle A M L by angle side angle angle side angle congruence postulate so that's all na sana may natutunan kayo so don't forget to like share and subscribe pakipindot na rin po yung ating notification bell no? para malagi kang updated sa mga susunod ko pang videos no? so that's all good luck soldier